everybody. Cindy out here with my artsy endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, I am doing pretty well. Uh, coming off a really bad fibro flare. Um, so it feels like my body's just kind of really, really sore, but it's all good. Um, we're here today to talk about this week's prompt. Um, you've already seen Anne's and Gina's take on the prompt, and the prompt is selfie. Now, as you guys know, um, I am working on chronic pain as my focus for this year and my creative year. And I'm going to talk about a subject that is very uh, near and dear to everybody's heart that um, has to live in chronic pain. Okay? And the minute I heard selfie, my first thought is worthy. All right, so we're going to talk about that. But before we do that, there's my pen. I don't want that one. There it is. I just want to write this right here. That's what we're going to talk about is our self-worth. Now, before I get to the front, because the front is going to be pretty simple, so I want to play. I want to play. So we're going to play on the back of this. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to fast forward through this really quick. I'm just going to play around here like I normally do. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk about um, being worthy. And we're going to do this front page as our selfie. So bear with me. Let's fast forward real quick. We're going to play with this. And I'll be back and we'll talk about that topic. I'll be back. Thank you. 
playing with her um I mean there's still so much more I could do I could put these little dangles down the hearts I mean you could just do so much more and just doodle and play but anyways okay so I did an I am worthy and let me tell you when I first got hurt and I was in the um it was in the first couple of years of living with the chronic pain. Um, this was so hard to do, to realize that I am worthy, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about um, what I feel it means to be worthy um, while I work on this other page, which is the front of it. Um, I used a Dina Wakely stamp. This is one of her new ones that I, I just, I love these girls. I thought they were wonderful. So I got those. So I used a Dina Wakely stamp. I love her paints. Um, I used the pink on here. This ink, this acrylic ink um, in the flesh tone, this was when everybody was going and getting them and they were on sale for $1.49. I have a bunch of them, but I decided to add the colors that I didn't have. And this flesh was one of them, and I really, really like it. So um, I definitely will be using that more, no doubt. Um, just played around with my girl. Nothing exciting, nothing crazy. Just fun. That's all it is. It's just having fun. So here's the back that we did our speed through. Now here's the front. See, I got a little bit of paint on here, which is good. Because you know what? I'm going to put a little bit more in spots. Doesn't matter. Um, again, this is, our, this is my play. I love to play in these journals. 
So why not? We can play, right? Who says we can't put paint on there? Why not? So let me, here I am yabbering, just painting. I love, I love this. This is when I am at my happiest, is when I'm in my studio just playing. Um, I am in the new house, and I have, sorry, my phone keeps going off. Hold on. I'll shut it off if I can. Um, I do have my studio semi set up. Uh, it's not all completely set up and you know I just I haven't got it all done yet it's, it's a lot of work and my husband God bless him he's been really helping me at least get me so I can record and and he knew you know that was a priority <laughs> to heck with getting the house set up make sure Cindy can record but anyways um, so we you know like I said we've got my studio a little bit it's not all done there's still a mess there's still tables full of um, goodness and all right, so what we're going to talk about today with selfie and with chronic pain is I am worthy. Um, where that picture go? Here it is. Here's my picture because it said selfie, so I decided I'm going to do a selfie in here. And I promised Marianne I will not cover my face this time. Um, being worthy, what does it mean to me? The first thing it means is... To me, what you have to find is an inner peace, okay? And that is just being. Um, understanding that you are who you are, chronic pain and all, and it's you. You have to learn to be at peace with that. And let me tell you, is that easily done? Heck no. I want to try this. I bought this new little... Um, it's a corner rounder. It has a stub for like a ticket stub or a scallop. So we're going to do a scallop. Um, so the first part of it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that didn't cut very well, did it? Hmm. Um, the first part of it is, you know, being comfortable in your own skin, being comfortable with who you are. And I think that's where the piece, I don't like the way that cut, um, the inner piece, the self-acceptance, and just being aware that, you know what, you're not perfect. Nobody is. And you're living with chronic pain, and it's okay. You can do this. I don't like, see how that's cutting? I don't like how that's cutting. I wonder if it's if something I'm doing wrong, or I don't think so. I've got it in the guide. I've got it laid flat. Hmm. Huh. It works. All right. Anyways, so, um, you know, it, it all begins with you. It begins in your own heart, um, in your own mind. This is where it begins, right? So the first thing, like I said, is being. Um, it's just being you. Okay, I'm going to make this white. Okay, so the first thing is just understanding who you are, being comfortable with who you are, and being comfortable in your own skin. Um, the next thing that I believe is has the feeling of worthy is um, belonging, feeling like you fit in somewhere, feeling like um, you're appreciated. This came off my calendar on March 6th, and I like this, which was, by the way, yesterday. Um... I think that when you feel appreciated, when you feel um, you you feel needed, you know, and it's not even um, you know I have to, you know, I don't know. Let me let me think. I'm trying to put my stuff in words, and it's the words aren't working great today. Thank you to Fibro. Um, you have like this brain fog thing, and your brain doesn't work with your mouth. Um, feel like you're appreciated. You feel like you have friends that can accept you um, as you are. They don't expect anything different than what you are or who you are. Your kindness, your support, um, it comes from your friends and your family. 
and they get it. They don't. They don't. Ex they don't have higher expectations of you just because they're your friends or your family. Okay, so I think that's very important um, to feel like you actually belong to something, even if it's just you belong with your friends. Okay. Um, I also think appreciated. When you feel appreciated, when you have support, um, when you share values and, and traditions with other people, all of this is being worthy, being you, belonging, appreciated, and it's, it's going to make you, it's going to prevent a lot of that loneliness. And you know what? I'm not sure if I like that there. I might have to change that around. Yeah. We're going to change that around. We're going to put that right there. See, I'm not doing a whole lot to the front of this. I just, I love this. I thought that was great. I'm not sure I like the yellow, but hey, whatever. All right, so the other thing is um, being positive. Is it hard? Absolutely. But when you wake up in the morning, if you got to sleep the night before, when you wake up in the morning and you open your eyes. I, this is what I've been doing and it seems to help my whole everything. It helps my attitude. It helps me get through the day. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, I had a really, really bad fibro um, a couple days ago and it basically felt like my entire body had been beat up by baseball bats and it was just excruciating to even move. But even though I woke up in that pain, I knew it's going to be okay. Today's going to be a tough one. Yep, it is. No problem. I got to deal with it. So what did I do? I stayed in bed. I um, actually did a little bit on Netflix. I'd watched some YouTube videos. Um, my husband came in, made sure I had everything I needed, whether it was, you know, something to drink or pain medication or, or um, you know, even things to do. I was sorting out my stickers, just stupid little stuff like that. But it's okay because I knew, I knew that it was going to be a bad day. And instead of waking up and being negative about it, you know, oh my God, I can't believe I got to deal with this again. It's like, okay, yep, you're, you're telling me what I need to do today and you have to listen. And all of that being the positive, I actually had somebody tell me once that I was, um, I was too optimistic. Well, you know, I'm sorry, in my book, I'd rather be optimistic than um, be Mrs. Negative Nelly and, and, and grumpy and grabby and oh every you know a Debbie Downer I can't be that way that's just not who I am so wake up try your very best to be positive okay I gotta I wanna glue these down um, try your very best to be positive is it hard on days absolutely but you know I have found the more positive I am the easier the days get to deal with so, yeah, you know, I was in massive pain yesterday. Again, um, not as bad, but I still had quite a high pain scale. And you know what? It's okay. I had to tell myself, it's okay. And I don't know why I'm gluing on there, but um, I had to tell myself it's all right because, you know, I have this disease. I didn't choose it. It chose me. And why it chose me, I have no idea, but it's okay. I will survive. I will survive this disease. I will survive the chronic pain. I will um, live every day in the best way that I can, whether it be, um, you know, laying in bed watching YouTube videos and just trying to get through the day, or, you know, it's okay, I feel good enough, let's go to Hobby Lobby today. Maybe I can walk. Um, we went here not too long ago, and my husband pushed me in the wheelchair. I just could not do the walking, but I wanted to go. So there are ways to be positive. You can do this. Anybody can do this. It just takes time. It takes time, and it takes it takes you being perseverant to be worthy. I am a worthy person. I do these YouTube videos. I hope that I can help people with the videos. That is my entire goal on YouTube. I want to help anybody that's in the same position that I am in or, you know, even beginning um, in that position that I can help them to feel better about themselves. And that's that's huge. That's key to it. So uh, my hubs is calling. I'm going to answer this real quick and I will be right back. 
All right, so the last one um, that I'm going to say about feeling worthy is um, believing. You have to believe in yourself before um, before you're going to feel worthy at all. You've got to believe. Um, believe that you're a good person. Give as much as you can. Um, when I say give, I'm talking about kindness. I'm ta not talking about money or things. I'm talking about kindness. Be kind to people. Um, do the best thing you can for said people. You know, it, it doesn't hurt to give somebody a smile. You never know. You don't know um, what's going on. They may look perfectly normal. You don't know what's going on inside them. Same as they don't know what's going on inside of you. So, you know, be kind to people. Believe in yourself. Um, take a positive outlook every day. Oops, see, I do that every time. And I really don't care because I think it's cool. Um, you know, Take time to think about yourself and think about, um, you know, your good qualities. You know, even though I cannot do some of the things the same way I used to do them, uh, it's okay. I can still do other things. I can make videos. I hope that people enjoy. And, um, you know, I hope to help them learn something about themselves. Uh, maybe learn something about the chronic pain journey that they're in. Um, but it all begins inside of you. And, you know, I can't sit here and say, well, you know, these are your good qualities and this is what you should be positive about. I can't do that. Everybody is different. But you are good. Everybody is good. There's good in everybody. So, you know, take the time to look in yourself. And that's why I put this. The only journey is the one within. And you have to look there to find your positivity. You have to look there to find your worthiness. So it's it's all about the um, prompt, which is the self. Did that not glue? It did not glue. It's glued at. It's glued at. Oops. Thing down. Um, you know, you have to look inside yourself. And it, it takes some soul searching. But you can do it. You definitely can do it. Anybody can look inside themselves and find their own self-worth. It's there. Don't be so critical about yourself. You know, if you cannot do some of the things the same way that you did them before, it's okay. That doesn't matter. You still need to believe in you. You can do this. You are worthy. You're alive. You're breathing. You're worth every bit of that oxygen that you're bringing in. You know, don't sell yourself so short. Enjoy. I'm just, right now I'm just doodling. Because I never know what I feel like putting on here. Kind of like that, so... I hope this makes sense and you know I'm not trying to preach to you I'm not trying to lecture you I'm just telling you how I have found my way in the chronic pain world and I'm hoping I can help you find your way all right so this week's ta uh, this week's prompt like I said is selfie I really hope that you can um, take some time to look in yourself and find that good person that you are. It's in there. You're still in there. Um, and do what you can with that good person. You know what? Is this red? Yeah, this is red. That's not quite the red I want. No, watch. I'm going to end up with a big red blob on this just because I want red on this heart, right? Good enough. Now I will take my little brush. It's got paint on it. So definitely, you know, check out deep inside. Check yourself out and find that worthiness in you and enjoy it. 
and show it. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's uh, prompt, like I said, which is self selfie. And, you know, I really hope you do. All right. If you have any questions, comments, um, complaints, concerns, whatever, uh, put them in the comments below. I will answer everybody that asks me a question um, or leaves a comment. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. If you know somebody going through the chronic pain journey, um, you know, send them to my channel and maybe I can help them a little bit. All right. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.